Uh, I heard from several of you that our um, Vata pacifying class on Tuesday was right what you needed. So I'm going to stay with that theme, although this class is going to be very different um, from what we did on Tuesday. One of Vata's quality is that it's creative. Um, in addition to its moving, mobile, um, dispersive qualities, it is creative. And um, so I'm thinking actually to tamp down that um, wild creativity and do a really classical um, practice this morning. Very simple. The poses you may find more challenging than usual, but the format is going to be very simple, not very many postures, and very classical, not a lot of variations. Um, so I called this class Keep It Simple and Rest When Tired. Keep It Simple is going to be very basic postures, six repetitions, six breaths of stay, um, not a lot of fancy, interesting, creative variations. Rest when necessary is a lesson I hope that you'll take off the mat. Uh, in this practice, it's going to mean if the posture becomes too challenging, then you rest. It's appropriate to rest when you're tired, not to push through. Um, so how will you know? Main thing is watch your breathing. If the breathing gets disturbed in any way, that is a good time to stop and take a pause. If your body gets tired, uh, especially if it starts shaking, that also is a good indication to take a rest. Watch out with the mind. Sometimes the mind um, will say, I don't like this, this is hard. That is not necessarily a reason to take a rest if you're still breathing smoothly and your body is maintaining its um, poise. So this is a, going to be a, a um, practice for self-observation. I'm going to speak less um, than usual. So you're going to be looking inward to decide um, if a rest is necessary. And if not, stay with the simple concepts that you know. Stira Sukha. You want the posture to be steady and comfortable. When you're doing six breaths of downward facing dog, you might wonder what does comfortable mean. That's what I want you to investigate. We want the breath to be smooth and long, gentle and soft, not harsh and pushed, and certainly not shaky or disturbed. Uh, so be aware of that. Also, we want to take time. So if you can work with a pause, please work with a pause as you finish your inhale and as you finish your exhale. So we'll begin in Samastiti. And I'd like to remind you in Samastiti and whenever you're at rest, we want to cultivate stillness. So be aware of the impulse to wiggle, to readjust, to move around a little bit and see if you can bring yourself into a still resting pose. Be aware of the feet, feel the connection of the feet down into the floor. Observe your body, here it is. Fix your gaze softly. Close the lips and breathe a gentle ujjayi through the nose. Our tension stays inside the body. This is our path towards stilling the mind. We'll 
we'll begin with Uttanasana. So full forward bend. We're going to take six repetitions, all in succession. Because of our limited time, we're not going to bring the arms down after each repetition. So six repetitions in succession and six breaths of stay in the pose. Keep the gaze softly focused and inhale, raise the arms forward and up. With the exhale, we'll fold forward, keeping the legs comfortably straight, relaxing the upper body. Inhale, open the chest by reaching the arms forward as you come up to the top. And with the exhale, bend forward again, hugging the belly into the spine, relaxing the upper body. Inhale and open the chest as you lift to the top. And bend down with exhale. Rise up with the inhale. And do that three more times on your own. On this third one, we're going to stay down and begin six breaths of staying. So feel the breath come in. And feel the breath go out, relaxing the upper body even more. Stay for five more breaths at your own count. Count to yourself mentally, stay focused inside. After your sixth breath is complete, you come up on an inhale, please. And then lower the arms down and come directly to Samastiti. Body is still. Breath is relaxed. Gaze is steady. This is our rest. Take the rest. Keep the attention inside the body.
down into a wide stance for Trikonasana, the triangle pose. So we'll turn on the mat sideways and take the legs comfortably wide apart from each other. Feel the feet. Feel that connection down evenly through both feet. Steady the pelvis. And keeping the pelvis still, I'm going to roll the left leg out in the socket. External rotation of the left leg. Keep the pelvis steady so the navel still points forward. We'll do six repetitions again in succession and then stay for six breaths. Observe if there are uh, signs of fatigue, if the breath is not smooth, for example, or your body is shaking, return to Samastiti. Keeping the gaze fixed on one point throughout all of the repetitions, we will inhale and take the arms wide, palms facing forward, and then exhale. Bend to the left leg, left hand touching the left leg, wherever it comfortably comes, keeping the chest and the gaze forward, and inhale, come up to the top again. Exhale and bend to the side again, keeping the whole front body open to the wall in front of you, gaze continues to stay on one point, inhale, come up to the top. Again, exhale, side bend. And inhale to the top. Please do that three more times on your own. On this third one, we'll stay. On inhale, look up at your right hand. On exhale, hug the belly to the spine. Rotate the left leg and push the right hip back and stay five more breaths. On your final exhale, you can turn the head back to the front and then inhale, lift up to the top. Exhale, lower both arms down to the sides. Unrotate the left leg and step to Samastiti in the center. And we'll take a brief rest before we do the other side. Settling down into both feet, standing tall, comfortable, relaxed, and still, letting the breath move at its own pace, and keeping the attention inside the body. heart rate to move back towards its resting rate, the breath to settle down. Observing the sensations that result from that posture on the first side.
rotate the legs wide again. Feet parallel as you start out. Feel the pelvis, keep the hip points steady. And then moving from the top of the right leg, rotate the leg out in the socket, keeping the navel pointing straight forward. Six repetitions in succession, then six breaths of stay. Please observe if the breath gets shaky or the body gets unsteady, return to Samastiti. Inhale, arms wide, palms forward. Exhale, bend down to the right leg. Right hand resting comfortably on the leg, wherever it's comfortable. And inhale, come up to the top. Keep the gaze steady on one spot. Exhale, and side bend to the right. And come to the top with the inhale. Again, exhale, side bend. And inhale up. Please do that three more times on your own. On this third one, we'll stay. Inhale, look up at the left fingertip. Exhale, rotate the right leg out in the socket, push the left hip back, and stay for five breaths, please, at your own count. On the final exhale, turn the head back into the center and then lift up to the top as you inhale. And exhale, take the arms down to the sides. Unrotate the right leg. And then step to Samastiti at the back of the mat as little rearranging as possible, coming into Samastiti. Feel the feet. Settle into the observation of the rest. Let the breath go. Body still, but easeful.
Now we'll take six repetitions of Ardha Utkatasana, the half squat. This time we will bring the arms down after each repetition. Breath smooth. Work with the pause if you can. Rest if the breath becomes disturbed or if the body gets shaky. Inhale, raise the arms. All right, you got that. Six repetitions, Ardha Utkatasana. Inhale, arms come forward and up. And with the exhale, bend the knees and fold down. Relax the upper body. With the inhale, arms come up around the ears, open the chest, straighten the legs, come all the way up. Exhale, lower the arms down the front. Again, inhale, raise the arms forward and up. Exhale, bend the knees and fold down. Inhale, bring the arms up around the ears and stand up tall. Exhale, lower the arms down the front. Gaze, stay steady, please. Inhale, arms forward and up. Exhale, bend the knees and fold down. Inhale and rise to the top. Exhale, arms down the front. And please do it like that three more times on your own. Directly to Samastiti. Settle into that still, relaxed balance. Gaze steady. Breathing relaxed. Attention in the body.
come down onto all four. I'm just going to make sure this is secure. Come down onto all fours. We're going to work with downward facing dog. Your rest position in this case will be child's pose. Um, so feel free to alternate the down dogs with child's pose if you like, or if you need to take a moment, um, move into child's pose to do that. We'll take six repetitions of downward facing dog moving from this all fours position and then stay for six breaths in the downward dog. Stay here as you inhale and feel the chest lift and fill. Then with the exhale, tuck the toes. Keep your knees bent a little bit on this first one, especially if this is early in the morning for you. And push the floor away, really stretch the spine. Inhale, bring the knees back down onto the floor and open the chest. We'll do it five more times. Exhale, press up into down dog. The last thing to focus on is the straightening of the knees. First, we want the spine long. Inhale, knees go down to the floor. Chest is open. Again, exhale, push away from the floor as you raise the hips. And inhale, slowly lower the knees back down to the floor. Three more. Exhale, push the floor away, sit bones towards the ceiling, chest open. Inhale, knees to the floor. Take your time getting the knees down. You have a whole inhale to do that. Twice more. On this last one, we begin our stay. Please be very observant of the breath and the body. Take a rest as necessary. Six breaths. Keep pushing the floor away with the hands and reaching the sit bones high up towards the ceiling. Breath smooth and lengthen. When you finish the six rep or the six breaths, we'll bring the knees down on an inhale. And then take a moment to bring the hips back to the heels and rest in child's pose. Any version where you're comfortable, you can place your hands under your forehead or take the knees wide. Let the breath move at its own pace. Observe. So we're going to turn over onto the back and take a short Shavasana. This is not our final rest, but we're going to take a moment adjusting to the supine position. 
Lying on the back with the legs a little bit spread, the hands wider than the mat. The body relaxing down into the floor. Continuing to allow the breath to breathe at its own pace. Continue the observation. Observation on any level where you notice something, but do notice the beating of your heart. If you're working on your own and moving from one posture to the next, you want to wait till the heartbeat is subsided down to a resting rate before you proceed. So become used to observing what's happening with the heartbeat. Observe the way the breath breathes itself. And of course, feel the body. Can it relax? How does it relax? Are you noticing any sensations in particular? We're going to move on to the next pose, which is Dwipada Pidam. So we'll have the knees bent. We are going to stay for six breaths here, and um, if that is a lot for you, you could employ your folded blanket and place it under the pelvis when we do that long stay. So you may want to get your blanket handy just in case um, you want to try that variation. We begin, we're feeling the feet on the floor, back of the pelvis, the shoulders, the back of the head on the floor. For this particular pose, please don't have any um, support behind the head. Head down on the mat. And we'll inhale and lift the hips, stretching the arms up and back to the floor behind. Feel the length at the back of the neck and the front of the thighs. And exhale, lower the arms and the hips. Go ahead and roll down through your spine, massaging that lower back as you come down. And again, inhale, lift the hips and stretch the arms up and back. Feel the buttocks and the back thighs working. And roll down through your spine as you release the hips and the arms back down to the floor. Again, inhale and lift, stretching the front of the body, working the back of the body, and lower with the exhale. Take your time. Three more repetitions, please.
In the final repetition, we'll lift up on the inhale. Keep the hips up, and with the exhale, lower the arms down to the sides, and you can clasp the hands underneath you if you like, and walk the shoulders close. Six breaths here, please. And again, if you want to rest your hips down on your blanket instead, feel free to do that. Steady on the feet, smooth with the breath. I'm going to stay up for the entire sixth breath. Then on the next inhale, lift the arms up overhead. And with the exhale, bring the hips and the arms back down, rolling through the spine. Pause a moment here. And then let's bring the knees into the chest. One hand on each knee. Point your fingertips down towards your toes. Relax your shoulders. Bend the elbows. And we'll take six repetitions of Apanasana. With the exhale, hugging the thighs in close. So the lower back flattens out into the floor. With the inhale, moving the knees away from the chest. Keep the shoulders relaxed, but let the elbows straighten out. Exhale, gently hug the thighs in towards the belly. Feet are a little separated and soft, relaxed. Inhale, gently rock the knees away. Open the chest and soften the belly. Exhale and hug again. Eyes closed, face relaxed. And inhale, open the chest and then the belly. Three more repetitions on your own. And when you're done, bring your feet down onto the floor and take another brief rest here, relaxing the control of the breath. Observing sensations in the body.
We're going to move now in to a variation of the shoulder stand. If you have a shoulder stand practice and want to do shoulder stand or half shoulder stand um, out here on your mat, then feel free to do that. Um, I'm going to guide you into a supported uh, inversion at the wall with the use of the blanket, um, which is optional. You could just put your legs up the wall. Um, you also could choose a gentler variation, just um, putting your legs up on a chair, if that is preferable. We're going to take 12 breaths in whichever of those variations you choose. Um, Use the folded blanket with the smooth fold towards the top of the pelvis. So we're gonna come in close to the wall. If your hamstrings are um, tighter, you can be a little farther away, but if your hamstrings are stretched out, you can move in quite close to the wall. And we'll begin simply by putting the feet up on the wall with the knees bent. And then again, this use of the blanket is optional. You could simply just raise your legs up the wall if you prefer, but if you're gonna use the blanket for a little more inversion effect, you can exhale and push your feet into the wall to lift your hips up and then slide the blanket under the back of the pelvis. So the folded edge of the blanket is in line with the pelvic crest. And then we'll take the legs straight up the wall Arms relaxed at the sides. And this is not a rest pose. This is an active pose, so we are going to use ujjayi breath. And I'd like to stay here for 12 breaths, please. Um, please do your best to count your 12 breaths. Eyes closed, gentle, soft ujjayi for 12 repetitions.
When you're done with the 12 breaths, you can relax the breath. And then we'll bend the knees so the feet go against the wall again. And use an exhale to raise the hips and slide the blanket out from underneath you. And then you can either just leave the feet against the wall or draw the knees into the chest for a moment. transition to the stomach, but I'd like you to move slowly and carefully. Roll to your side. And then bring yourself down so that you're laying fully out onto your stomach. With your arms all the way stretched out in front of you. Forehead on the floor. Relax the legs. Gently feel the rim of the palms on the floor. Allow your elbows to stay down on the mat. And inhale, simply raise the chest and the head a little bit up off of the floor, keeping the gaze down towards the mat beneath your nose. And exhale, lower back down. And we'll do that five more times. Inhale, raising the chest and the head. Forearms are going to stay down, legs relaxed. Gentle opening for the upper back. And exhale, slowly come down. Feel the chin tucked down towards the notch of the neck. And keep it tucked down as you inhale and raise the chest and head. And slowly lower forehead to the floor. I'm going to do that three more times. When you're done, move your hips back to your heels and take a child's pose for a moment. And then we're going to transition onto the back with the knees hugged into the chest. One hand on each knee. Again, we're taking up and asana. Fingertips pointing towards the toes. Feet a little separated and relaxed. Shoulders dropped. Elbows soft. Eyes closed. Face relaxed. With your exhale, hug the knees in close. Feel the lower back gently stretch. Drop the shoulders. 
and inhale, breathe into the chest. Soften the belly as the knees move out away from the chest. Keep the shoulders dropped. Exhale, hug the belly into the spine as you bring the knees in close again. Feeling that gentle stretch of the lower back and the back of the neck. Easy shoulders. Inhale, rock the knees away. Filling the chest, relaxing the belly. Keep the shoulders soft. And hug the belly to exhale. Feet and face relaxed. Inhale, breathing downwards, feeling the chest and then the belly soften. Three more breaths. Take your time. Definitely add comfortable pauses wherever they can be inserted. A moment when the body's still, the breath is still. As you're ready, the feet will come to the floor. And we're going to take a moment before moving into the final rest with the knees bent, feeling the bottoms of the feet on the floor. Hands wider than the mat, palms turned up. Take a moment to adjust the shoulder blades broad and wide, relaxing the upper body. Softening into the Part of the floor, relaxing the breath. Now be sure that you're warm enough as you move into relaxation. If you have an extra blanket <clears throat> and you can use this folded blanket as it is, a uh, nice thing to do is place the folded blanket on the belly and you can get a little um, sense of heaviness of weight there. Uh, and then stretch out into your final relaxation pose with the legs straight, feet about as wide as the mat, Arms wider than the mat, palms up. Be sure that the head is comfortable. You may turn it a little bit from side to side. Feel free to use a little support behind the head here if you like. And again, it's important to be warm as you take the relaxation. So feel free to cover yourself up. If the lower back uh, is not comfortable, Take a rolled up towel and place it behind your knees. Now take your time getting settled. Also, um, an eye pillow is a nice thing to use if you like. Or a folded towel over the eyes. Take your time getting settled so that you can come into a position where you really can be still. And we're going to do slightly longer Shavasana than usual. So be warm, be comfortable. In the 
final relaxation, you release the control of the breath completely. Natural breath. Just allow it to breathe itself. Whatever speed, whatever deepness or shallowness. Body settled in to the pull of gravity, settling into that stability of the floor. Once you're fully comfortable, please remain still throughout the final relaxation. Breath is breathing itself. Mind settling into the experience of the breath and the body. Whenever the mind wanders, draw it back inside the body. Sarvabhi Maradivin Narayan 
body at rest. Breathe breath. Where's the mind? Begin for Pranayama. Be begin uh, preparing for Pranayama. Letting the breath lengthen and moving the body slowly and gently into a long stretch. As you're ready, the knees can come to the chest, turn to the right side, take a moment in the fetal position there, gentle stretch for the back. And then slowly make the transition up into a comfortable seat. Use the support of a cushion or sit at the edge of a chair. And support yourself so that you're comfortable, slightly longer pranayama today. We're going to work with Nani Shodhana, alternate nostril breathing. Although we have the movement of the um, hand from nostril to nostril, there's very little movement because really we're just sliding one finger down the nose and the other up the nose when we switch. Um, so this is quite a still and self-contained motion. Once you have your comfortable seat with your sit bones well grounded, your spine lifted, Take the right hand and fold the first two fingers down to the palm so that the thumb can rest on the right nostril and the ring finger on the left. And we're going to slide the ring finger up to the cartilage. So your thumb and your finger will be resting either on the cartilage or closing the nostril. Begin the pranayama by inhaling gently through the left nostril. I'm going to switch the fingers and bring it up through the right. So the right, the thumb is up on the right cartilage. The left nostril is completely closed with the ring finger. And stay and inhale there, breathing in through the right. And then switching to breathe out through the left. That's one round. We're going to do 12 rounds. Inhale, left. And exhale, right. Stay and inhale, right. And then exhale through the left. That's two rounds. I'm going to count the first six for you. Inhale left. And exhale right. Inhale right. And exhale left to finish the third round. Of course, if you know the pranayama, continue on your own. We have nine more breaths, or nine more uh, rounds. Inhale left. And exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale 
exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. And exhale left. That's six rounds. Do six more please on your own. Round begins and ends with the left nostril. When you finish that final round, which is the exhale through the left nostril, we have just about a minute to sit quietly. Reconnect with your comfortable seat. Relax the breath, close the eyes. Be still and draw the attention inside.
Self-observation. Watch the inner sense. Very slowly, let's open the eyes. Bring the hands to Anjali Mudra. Namaste. Thanks for being here. Uh, hope this practice was good for you and so I encourage you to Rest when you're tired. Rest when necessary. Take care. Enjoy this day. Thank you. Bye-bye.